U.S. officials have often suggested that they would be interested in speaking to a man named Ahmed Abu Khatala about the events the night of the attack. He's really not that difficult to find. We met with Ahmed Abu Khatala in public at the coffee shop of a well-known hotel here in Benghazi for around two hours. He seemed to be confident, his demeanor most certainly not that of a man who believed that he was going to be detained or targeted anytime soon. And he agreed to let us film audio, but not video, of our conversation. He doesn't deny that he was there the night of the attack. He claims he didn't even know the Americans had a consulate in Benghazi, never mind having any information about a specific location. His narrative is unclear and at times seems to be contradictory. He says when he arrived at the perimeter of the compound, he saw men carrying rocket-propelled grenades and medium guns, and the gunfire prevented him from entering. By the time he managed to get inside the compound, everyone, he says, had withdrawn. Khatala claims Ambassador Stevens suffocated because he was trying to burn important documents. but in a long, rambling interview, he also accuses the Americans of using Al Qaeda as a boogeyman whenever it suits them, and adds.